Every time a traveler do a line of cocaine, they're actually literally killing people. There's a lot of violence in the process. The reality of taking drugs is meaning that people are killed, that women are raped, that children lose their parents. But every single family in Colombia has been affected by the cocaine trade. Colombia has emerged as one of the must-see destinations. But it's hard to escape the fact that some travelers who come here are on the hunt for one of the country's most notorious exports, cocaine. For those who have a taste for the drug back home, the relatively low cost in Colombia compared to skyrocketing prices in the West is an increasingly attractive reason to travel here. Also, with TV series like Narcos on Netflix, there's a popular fascination with the life of drug baron Pablo Escobar, and more people are travelling to Colombia to see where the billionaire kingpin enacted his criminal reign. If this sounds like you, it's important to take the time to know what you're really buying into. In the 1970s, cocaine exploded in popularity and for a number of decades, Colombia was by far the world's largest cocaine supplier. With such high demand for the product around the world, this led to a massive criminal enterprise and no one exemplified this criminality better than drug baron Pablo Escobar. At the height of his power, Escobar's cartel was bringing in $420 million per week and would you believe $1,000 a day just on rubber bands to tie up the money. But as his power grew, so did the bloodshed. It's difficult to determine, but estimates suggest that Escobar's people executed well over 4,000 Colombians and this included an orchestrated plane explosion. The effects of Escobar's cartel and the other cartels which followed are still felt in Colombia today. And it's fair to say the Colombians are still feeling pretty raw about it all. This definitely increases our crime rate, you know, for locals and for foreigners, you know. Putting yourself in danger, going to buy the product. They assume that when they're doing cocaine, oh, they're just having fun and they're just having a party. But in reality, it's caused so much death and destruction that it would totally offend somebody here if you walked up and asked them for cocaine. So given cocaine trafficking has caused so much damage to Colombian society, you can understand why locals have such a poor view of travelers who come here with a hunger for the drug. Colombians do get upset uh, when somebody asks them about drugs and cocaine. And we have suffered a lot for a long time because of the drug trade and for us it's just not funny. I know that it has done a lot of harm to the community and the Colombians don't really like to speak about it. That's what we find out, found out. We really are interfering and helping fund uh, a conflict that has run for more than 50 years. Now to get things clear, it's illegal to sell it. So if you are purchasing cocaine in Colombia, you are committing a criminal act. The simple reality is, if you come to Colombia and ask around for drugs, you're immediately putting out signals that you're someone with money and someone who wants to get involved with criminal elements. This means by involving yourself with criminals, you are opening yourself up to be robbed or worse. And finally, by purchasing cocaine, you're buying a product that continues to have devastating effects on Colombia as well as the rest of the world. So in effect, and it might be hard to hear, but if you're purchasing cocaine, you're the problem. So if you're headed to this beautiful country, you'd be well served to have a think about the ethics and consequences of consuming what can truly be called a conflict drug. Cocaine is a big issue in this region, and there's plenty more we cover in the World Nomads Insider's Guide to Colombia. Click here to download the guide. It's packed with information on where to go, what to do, and most importantly, how you can stay safe.